Welcome to another video in the Lantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In this video, we will talk about mathematics and equations in Lantic. Now, the first section is addressing inserting equations. There are two types of equations the inline and the offline equation. In order to insert an inline equation, it is supposed to be enclosed in the dollar symbols and it will produce like this but if we want to insert an equation in a separate line then it should be enclosed in double dollar symbols okay so let's start with the LaTeX document and we are having the document class is book and we can document and end document if I want to insert an inline equation, then I will write this is a straight line equation. And correct this. This is a straight line equation. And I write the equation is y equal mx plus c. If I build this, then it is showing me like this y equal mx plus c. This is a straight line equation. But if I select and I enclose this in dollar symbols and I build this, then it's becoming different. Means it's italic and it is an equation format. Now if I want to convert this equation into a separate line so that it should be a separate line here, I make double dollar symbol means here double dollar and here double dollar and then I build this document and you can see it has inserted the equation like this. So this is a way to incorporate an equation in a document. Similarly, if we want to have numbered equation, then we will have to write begin equation and end equation and we will write the equation inside it. So here, let's see that slash begin equation and it is here begin equation and equation will come automatically and I write y equal mx plus c. Now I don't need to insert the dollar samples because it is already in equation environment. So I build this and you see that now it has labeled it as equation 1. It is giving the label as 1 because we haven't inserted any chapter or sections let's say i insert slash chapter and here i write introduction and now i build this equation so now you see that we are having a chapter one which is introduction and our equation has changed to 1.1 1 .1. Similarly, if there will be another chapter, then it will become 2.1. 1. So this is for numbering in equation. If we are having a series of equation and we want to number them, then we can write like begin equation array and end equation array. Like for example, we are having three equations that is slash begin and equation array and here it is. So let's say the first equation is y equal mx plus c and then we are having the enter symbol here. So y equal mx plus c then i write a x square so x square is written like this x to the power 2 plus 
bx plus c equals 0 and the third equation is let's say minus x is equal to and here I want to insert fraction so for fraction I will come to this fraction this one and this one this is fraction and this is called d fraction and I will explain its difference in a while but let's start with this one fraction and let's say it is minus b and then plus minus so I need to insert plus minus and for this I will click here to see this menu and now I will go to the symbols and from the symbol this is the plus minus so I insert plus minus and then minus b plus minus and then there is a square root so this is square root and in this square root I write minus b plus minus and here is b square minus 4 a c and divided by in the denominator I write 2 a now I build this equation and you see here that y equal mx plus c is termed as 1.2 ax square plus bx plus c is written as 1.3 similarly the x equal minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac by 2a is equation this okay here so now in order to write them such that the equality symbol is aligned then what we do here that in the equation array we write from the both sides of the equality and and symbol and this will align the text or the equations is like this means the equality is are all aligned so the equation are aligned uh, from the point of view of equality symbol like this I just write here int and here int similarly the int here and here and over here and here now let's see that it has aligned it has aligned the equalities with each other similarly if we don't want to number an equation then equation to be followed by a static symbol or the equation array to be followed by a static symbol now in order to insert different symbols we will have to use these packages which is the AMS math the AMS symbol and the AMS gen symbol so just putting these over here and the use ms symbol and finally the gen symbol and now we can start with the symbols these symbols which are the plus minus equal factorial this slash forward slash these brackets and the square brackets they can be directly inserted from the keyboard while the other samples like the one we discuss in section 2.1 of the book mathematical samples these symbols are supposed to be inserted in a dollar symbol for example we want to write the symbol less than or equal to or greater than or equal to 
so I have categorized them all in a sequence so for less than or equal to we write leq and geq so let's see here if I want to write the symbol then I will have to insert this in dollar symbol like slash leq and it appears here and I build this and we are having our symbol here similarly I can write comma slash GEQ and I build this and it is here greater or equal to similarly the other symbols like double less than double greater than can be written with slash ll and this there is a way to write these symbols from the menu as well like for example i want to write the plus minus and i just click this and now i build this you see it will give an error and it says missing dollar inserted so i will always have to take this one and then and close it in dollar symbol and then it will generate the plus minus similarly if I want to write the other symbols so many symbols are here these are in operators let's say coming to the Greek now if I want to insert alpha and alpha here so now you see that it will not build it unless and until we are having the dollar symbols around it and now it is showing alpha but the Greek symbols we will discuss in another table over here we only want to do this thing like not equal to or equivalent so all these symbols we can see here they are in this table so we can follow these to insert the symbols of our choice thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video